It is still 98 degrees out, but the sun is going down, so it doesn't feel quite as bad. So I thought I'd come out and do some watering since I didn't get around to it. Everything's looking a little droopy. Maybe too far gone, I don't know, but I've been a little bit neglectful lately. So I thought I'd get out here and see what I could revive. And it's still supposed to be hot tomorrow, so we shall see. We've got a lot of patty pans under there. But I'm definitely in this sort of ready to give up, isn't it fall yet kind of mood. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Here we go. I'm gonna wait, make sure this isn't. Oh, it's not too hot. Good deal. Boy, the strawberries are really looking. It's peaked. I don't know if we'll get them back or not. Um, they are starting to spread pretty good, though. We were thinking about digging up the ground around them on the bottom here because they want to spread down it looks like Ooh. until the air gets out I tried to water a little bit with a watering can this morning and that was just not going to do it so now that it's not too bad We'll see if we can give everything a drink. Pumpkins are, we got one good one there, but the rest of these are, I don't know, pretty either dead or probably not gonna produce at this point. Um, I don't know, I feel like I could have done a better job. I was. I think I was on the right track with the squash vine bores. And if I would have kept it up, I probably would have been a little better off. But the weeds, it's just really, you can't get in there. And so maybe next year, every year, a little better, maybe. So maybe I can stave these guys off next year. Plus, when the kids planted all the seeds, I really have no idea what they planted. But I think we'll be a little more strategic next year on which pumpkins to plant because I have a lot of these weird little ones and only one you know decent sort of jack-o-lantern type of thing so these guys are looking real sad they did not fill out like I hoped I think they just maybe dry out too much I really need to get a lot more compost in here the Birdhouse gourds did pretty good, but the loofahs just sad, sad, sad. I've got two. There's a loofah plant there. Actually, there's one there and one there, but they're too late now. So I had bought these little, so for my perennial garden, I had bought these little plant markers that, off of somebody on Etsy. And I'm thinking what I might do is come up with a way to mark both the pumpkins, like where the plant is, because as I'm sitting here randomly watering, I don't know where the plant is started, where the roots are. So I'm kind of just guessing, I'm watering along the stems. If, they're, if they've added extra roots, maybe that'll help. But anyway, both here and then in the the bed with the plastic um, where I do like melons and things like that and all the vines you can't um, with the plastic there's no weeds so I, I can't really tell I mean there might be one set of weeds sort of where the stems are but not always and so I can't figure out where to water for those so um, in both cases, I think I might come up with some. Oops, I think I just broke a. I just broke a zinnia. Maybe we'll bring that one inside. It doesn't look too bad. Um, I think it's going to have to be kind of tall, and I don't want it to be like I have like those flags, you know, for just whatever they mark. 
electricity and whatnot with, but they're just kind of ugly. But maybe if I did like, like a similar little wire and then with just something small on the top, just to kind of mark where I want to be watering. I don't know, something to think about. Sunflowers, I really wanna, I don't know why I'm leaving these right now. I think the bees are still getting a little something out of it and the birds might, but I'm gonna have to chop these down anyway because I, I'll have to clean this bed up so I can plant garlic in the fall. Um, the other ones I'll try to leave, but man, this year they are tipping over like you would not believe. I haven't had them tip over that bad before. All right, head back over to the other side. So anyway, trying to make myself feel a little better about how everything's looking right now. I should have mowed in here. I swear I just did, but in the camera there, it looks really dry, so I don't feel too bad about leaving it, leaving it long for now. It is supposed to cool down a little bit this week. Possibly rain, not a huge chance. There's my poor spider flowers looking real sad. Um, I need to get my coat, my hose uh, out from around the. I really gotta get all those weeds out of there too. Ooh. It's just been one of those weeks or a couple of weeks where I'm just kind of over it. Maybe that's normal for this time of year. The weeds are everywhere. The bugs are everywhere. It's hot. Stuff has died. I'm busy doing a bunch of other things. Ugh, cucumber beetles. Like, really? They're awful. Bug in my hair. Um, Oh, shoot. That is either a stink bug or a squash bug. I don't usually get squash bugs. It might be a stink bug. These look nice. Those are volunteer. This is the one that got planted, but it's looking a little. Uh, yeah, this one got planted too, but they're kind of tipped over. I don't know if I can get over to, there's so many, so many weeds. This pumpkin plant is completely dead. Let's see if I can switch hands here. But yeah, so I don't know. I maybe need to get a little revival going here and, um, clean some stuff up, maybe plant a few fall things, like just easy carrots. Um, you know, I planted a second succession of radishes and they just are not doing anything. So I think it was just too hot. So maybe I'll do another, another row of those. Now look at this guy right here. Boy, she's, that's really nice and green, really growing, but get it to grow up a little maybe. <laughs> I got a big birdhouse gourd there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those if I'm going to sell them. I don't think they're going to be dry before the end of the market. Or if I'm just going to save them and do a project with them. But I got quite a few decent ones this year. Assuming I can get them dry before they freeze because don't really have a good spot to dry them inside. And that's what happened last year, so they froze and did not do good. See, now these are the ones that, these do really well. I don't know why, they're kind of a mutt, I think, um, that I just saved seeds from. They're kind of like a little stripey, but they're not very practical for anything. They're not even, you can't really carve them. Maybe if you were, maybe they're edible. I don't know. I don't even know. I think those were seeds I saved from some random, but they're all over the place. So either 
they do have um, powdery mildew, but the squash vine borers seem to have left them alone. Or at least they survived through it. Can't believe these cosmos here haven't flowered yet. They're just gigantic. Let's see how far my hose goes here. It'll be interesting to see what happens with these beds in the spring because um, the amaranth should reseed, bachelor buttons are perennials. I've got lupine, the hollyhocks are biennial, but I transplanted those, some of those, so this might already be the second year for those. But they also reseed like crazy. And I cut the heads off all of these, so I probably should just tear these out of here. Of course, they shade, they shade the weeds so they don't grow. So maybe I should leave them. Let's see. That was supposed to be a daisy. Now it is witchgrass. Still trying. This is a volunteer. It's actually growing in uh, crushed asphalt of all places. Yeah, right there, that's a volunteer marigold. Oops, too much. So I don't know, over here I might pick up these seeded lettuce and I could put some new lettuce in there maybe once this hot spell goes away and the onions are probably going to be ready to pick soon. I could put more carrots in. Got these volunteer baby boos, which are quite a few. It was just one plant. And then the big cleanup over there. Uh, my watermelons and cantaloupes are all done for. You can see the big gaping hole there where the sunflowers used to be. They're all just tipping over and kind of a mess. Um, so I don't know, I'll probably get some of that cleaned up and make this a little less jungly, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm just taking a little, it's my me time, watering, hand watering all my stuff. Those guys are really tipping. The corn, oh, that is a sad situation this year. Um, I'm pretty sure the grasshoppers ate all the silks off of the ears before they were fertilized. So they are pretty much doing nothing. So that is kind of sad. I mean, I'll have a lot of stalks for, to make shocks, but not so much for popcorn. So that is kind of a bummer, but what you gonna do? And my aisle way up there is just all weeds. I need to get those pulled out. My cabbages got eaten. I didn't even get out the BT this year. So my Brussels sprouts are, oh, well, there's some on that guy there. But for the most part, that was pretty sad. Got one plant, spaghetti slash. You can see them, they're everywhere. 
So that's kind of fun. But, yep, so hope you're staying cool. And it's officially September, so maybe it'll be fall soon.